So, Vanilli, same rating, Le Clan and Saxe from uh, the Netherlands. Player Grunfeld is Dangrel's demand. And because of I am a guy who, well, there you go. Actually, no, I don't know. This is a Grunfeld I don't know how to play. Um, I would need uh, good old Svidler's course on this. So... We are going to do just the regular Kings Indian. Actually, Zamish Ben only more likely. And I played this pawn sack variation. I did talk about it in the YouTube video earlier on. So if you go to the Kings Indian video, you will find it there. I forgot all my theories. So this is going to be us in the dark. A5 rings me a bell here. Either it's A5 or Knight D7 and then A5. No, it's a5, so if here I can take a knight b4, I think. The idea of a5 is that I can always go knight b4, creating this very annoying check. And if they take, I can take back. I have a feeling that we're following here a game. I think this was... And it's always very dangerous to do this, by the way. When instead of thinking for yourself, you just play moves because you you think you remember something is very very dangerous territory. But I'm almost certain that we are following here um, Kramnik Shirov. And the idea with the second pawn sack is that after he king h8, um, I don't know what the idea is. He goes back. I think it's check. King goes somewhere, I take this, he takes back. And then b5, that's it, that's what Shirov did. Oh my god, I am a legend. Oh my god, I am a legend. That's it, undermining the knight on d5, baby. Look at the activity of the black pieces compared to the white ones. And now, I think we are actually better as black. Because if I can get this guy off the board, with check, take, take, this guy is unstoppable, so... The whole concept is based on exactly this. Like the whole opening is based on this idea that the black pieces are way more active and therefore they compensate for the material deficit. So if he pushes, I take. If he pushes again, I just go behind and I pick it off. If he goes there. Now the problem with this whole white setup is, is the fact that like he moves out of one pin and he's about to land in the next. And that is actually going to be far worse than the first one would have been. So now I'm just pinching a pawn. Knight can't move here or here. Note the dominance of the bishop. Beautiful stuff, man. The knight can go here, but after bishop a5, it's resignable because he can't leave the pin. So that leaves them with knight c1, which is rather sad, but probably only move. Whereupon I will take b6... Maybe bishop check because now the pawn is pinned, and so the bishop is gonna cover b1, uh, b8. Wow, that's that's some good chess there, boys. That was fire on the board, indeed. And so now he plays h4. The idea behind that is is that once he plays knight f4, I won't be able to win the p piece, perhaps. But yeah, he resigned. Wow, man, he actually resigned there. That's insane. I want to check this out. I really do. I'm so proud of myself, man. I remembered my line from 5,000 years ago. That doesn't happen to an old man like me every day. That, that was mental. That was absolutely mental. That's the wrong layout, sir. That's it. So let's have a look at this again. So take, 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 knight c6, oops, oh good, yeah, bishop a3, you know, this is a bit cut off, but it's okay, uh, a5, rook d1, bishop e6, legendario, knight d5, knight b4 mistake, king f8 is the move, bugger, 
バカKnight h3, and that, I think that was actually the shit off game. The shit off game went like this takes, 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 takes. Wait. No, he went here because he's a smarter player than me, I think. But it did go something like this. I need to look it up, but uh, yeah, that was terrible, and now he's just dead. Ooh. Bishop d5 was the move. Rook d5 mistake. I was actually genuinely worried about this. With the idea that if check the king here or here and then... And then I'm in trouble because I can't avoid the trade. So actually I needed to take this back with the bishop. And then take here. Oops. I can look it up in chess base too. Uh, that's fine. Boy, that was good. And then here he made a few mistakes too. Like knight, yeah, knight two just loses. And that was a mistake too. I just needed to take this and then in. So it was by no means a clean game. But uh, in the end when he resigned, that was a lot more justified than Wang Hao's resignation. Just to name one. All right, checks. Wait a second, who is Shex? No. No, I don't know who Shex is, so I'm not playing until I figure that out. We are just uh, looking for a new game. Maybe a rematch? No, not with this guy. I meant against the other guy. Okay, Fisher Syndicate. Um, let's go E4. And Shex with the challenge again. I need to know who Shex is. E4. Okay, so... Last time we had a game where he played bishop g4 here. So let's play that variation again. I sometimes play h3 first, but now I just want it to go regular. Yeah, it's you, Express Train. I knew it was you. What I wanted to check was if you were a sub, but because you are a sub, I will accept your challenge. Ah, oh, this is that lame story where he wants to take and then just pile up on this pawn. It's so sad, man. Don't do this. I will just take and then knight c3. Like, this development looks a little bit uh, weird to me. I feel like we need to... We need to turn up the heat on this. So if I go bishop here, knight g6 is unpleasant because it hits the bishop and defends the pawn. But I don't understand h6. So let's play a useful move. I want to see how he organizes his pieces. He goes, if he goes knight f6, then this diagonal becomes a little bit vulnerable. So I might consider ugly moves like c5. If this knight moves, then all of a sudden the e-file 
is proving to be a potential hunting ground. So this is a very useful developing move that basically says, I don't want to commit to this bishop yet because none of the squares were attractive enough for me to commit. So I decided to play a different move that is certainly good. Uh, it was the Alekhine. So he played a mainline Alekhine, but here the mainline Alekhine is knight c6. Or bishop e7 and then knight c6, rather. So knight f5. So he says, time to dance, baby, or time for tango. The problem with this move is, is that, like I said, now e one is coming to the four because h3 takes four stakes. Take, 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 hangs this. And maybe bishop g4 next is going to cause some drama there. I certainly am going to grab the two bishops. Thank you very much. Yeah, this this is looking... Oh, wait, I'm on the wrong layout. Guys, can you please remind me when I'm on the wrong layout to not to do that? So take, take. And now the plan is bishop takes b7, of course. And there is not really a convenient way to defend it. Not really a convenient way to defend it. Maybe queen c7 is a possibility, but that walks into potential knight b5 attacks. Um, rook b8 is ugly as sin. Yeah, queen b8 is ugly as sin. Um, so now I'm already thinking about potential winning ideas. Queen d3 looks attractive because it develops another piece and it creates a threat. And if bishop e7, I have knight d5. Takes, queen takes. And they can't ca castle because of the uh, open file shenanigans. But I'm not 100% on that one yet. d5, e5 is the thing that I don't want to do unless it's a forced win. Also know that after queen here, bishop here, d5... Is very annoying, although knight e5 is possible. Rook takes, takes, d, e, f, e, bishop h5, check. And I have compensation for the exchange, but not more. So is bishop, queen d3, bishop e7, knight d5 good enough for my liking? Actually, then they can castle. Hmm. I would want more than that. I would want more than that. Okay, so I have got bishop g4 here. Not that I like it, but I will consider it. g6, bishop takes pawn, takes d5, e5, queen h5. That is looking like death. Hmm. Yeah, I like bishop g4. I tell you what I like about it the most. What I like the most about bishop g4 is that after g6 takes, pawn takes back, I have got queen h5, which actually threatens queen f5 as well as rook e6. Because the queen pins the pawn. So that's a really cool idea. That's a really, really cool idea. And I don't think there is an obvious way to neutralize both. Because if it plays knight if f6 with the idea of attacking the queen, the rook e6 check still works. Although bishop e7. Then I will have to second exchange again. But that looks like a lot better exchange sack. In fact, that seems winning. Rook f6, bishop f6, knight d5, bishop back, and then queen check, and that's game. Yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. And I didn't even look at knight e7 because that just looks so horrid that I thought I would figure out what happens if he goes there when it happens. Because it just looks terrible. Uh, probably bishop f4. Although, knight here is a move. Do I have then rook e6, f6, bishop h5? Just to bring on some sexy. I mean, that's somewhat speculative, but then again, the guy has got the image of tile next to his name, so we might as well give him a bit of tile, right?
I did. A, I disagree with you, uh, ego official. About finding plan is difficult in such positions. Um, you what you need to do is to recognize that uh, they misplayed the opening. The king is stuck in the middle, and so you you need to turn on the aggro. I think actually it's the opposite is is the truth. In these types of positions, when the position is open enough and uh, you have an easy target like the king, all you need to do is just turn on the heat, man, and and just go aggro, go vicious. I expect g6. I don't think he has got any other reasonable move here. Like knight e7 just looks disastrous. Bishop e7 loses to take stakes. Knight d5. Um, yeah, like I I don't know. I definitely wouldn't have played this move. I mean, I can even play queen a4 with the idea of knight d5. That is so pretty. Wow, man! Hey, <laughs> this is this is top level carnage now. I mean, poor guy. Actually, after here, d5 is a game winning threat. Something doesn't quite sit well with me about this queen move here, but it looks so good. Uh, Bishop f4 he doesn't need to respond to because this is not hanging, so he can play knight g6. I was calculating that before. Bishop f4, knight g6, and I wanted to take this, take back, and then bishop h5. But this just seems to me like it's it's such an easy win. Like, everything is pinned. I may have missed something stupidly obvious, but, uh, okay, so d5, b5, take, take, queen takes, queen takes, yeah, this is death, man, like, this is just death. Death and misery is all there is. Maybe b5 take take queen b queen b knight b there is knight d5 and if bishop f3 then rook b8 I mean that's a winning end game too for me because the two pass pawns with the two bishops is just absolutely carnage scenarios but maybe I misplayed this and I played the tad too fast here or perhaps after b5 we can consider other avenues as well for example take take my queen can slide on the fourth okay so take this for example here here queen f4 he plays e5 i take 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 here okay so we certainly take this because i want to move on the fourth Oh my god. What? Wait, what? That looks horrid. Okay, so just come back, right? And then he's gonna play e5. So his idea was to not to die here, but now he just uh, burnt all bridges on the queen side, like e5 takes and he's... Oh, or there. Okay, now this made the least amount of sense because now he's dead every part of the board. So I thought that his plan was to play e5 here to at least close this off. But then after b8, 6, he can't take because of check and I take the rock. Now he's just dead in every department. He is just dead every department. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the poor guy just keeps on pushing past my pawns when I'm taking stuff for free. Uh, it's not pretty. It's not pretty, man. Okay, let's just develop. We want to bring the rook. Like, it's... Yeah, it's easy to play good chess when 
you are winning. But the funny thing is that when you are this much winning, still the best way to win is just following basic principles. Develop. Bring your dudes to the bear game. I'm not torturing him. This is... Genuinely, I think this is the cleanest way to win. I genuinely think, because now Nagy 6 loses a piece. So it's it's not like I'm being a jerk and I'm trying to elongate his suffering. On the contrary, I never do. Your objective in a position like this is to play the moves that are the most likely that will make them resign. Right? So if, if I start flashing here some cool moves and put everything on prey, then he will be like, okay, well, at least I'm taking pieces for my misery. That could be worth my time to stay in this game but if i just play bishop f4 and he knows this is coming and he sees these pieces here he will be like well stuff this i don't want to struggle here um so now this check and then when he goes there i've got tactics do you see how beautiful it all plays well uh plays out i saw none of this it's just uh not that i needed to it's just that well, bishop f4 was the most natural move, right? And now it turns out that I just have a win because of it. Carol, I'm not playing in any tournaments. You managed to start the day yet again with a classic. Frankly, bishop f3 was winning already, but uh, I'm a big... Believer of bringing all the guys to the party as per Yasser Good old Yasser taught us how to do that. So I'm doing it Now I'm not playing an online in online tournaments either the only online tournament I would be willing to play is the title Tuesday Which if I have the time and I can and can manage I certainly would play in so now his only legal move is queen here, and then I'm again not going to take the rock, but add more frets. So now I'm aiming for the king, or even queen check. And he can't possibly not get mated there. This turned out to be a hugely instructive attack against the king in the middle. You just played a tournament in your club on stream a few streams ago. Carol, I don't know what you are smoking, mate. But send me some of that stuff because it's probably the best ever. Ever. I never played in a club tournament in my life online. Yeah. Okay, now, I, I really don't know why he's doing this though. So now I do turn on the sadist because yeah, it's time for me to tell him that uh, the resign button is located underneath the moves. Please do. Oh, the, the dude, that was for the viewers. Don't be a clown, please. That was a viewer tournament. What? Like, why are you playing this, man? Like, you're 75 pieces down. Okay, let's have a look at this because this was quite uh, instructive. Let's let's have a look at this because I think it was reasonably instructive. So, um, I thought this was really really bad, and I was right about that. Takes us correct, knight c three correct. Haha, -ha! rookie one, papa. The old man still has it. So rookie one. As I explained, the bishop has no good square to go to, so you don't develop it, you wait. And d5 was a better move here, really? And if e5... Oh, we had knight e5! Pulse calls! Now, I've never in my life been a uh, Manchester United supporter, but that dude, Pulse calls, just admired his skill, man. 
That is such a beautiful line. Take, check this out. Takes, takes, and uh, the bishop is pinned, and then we just take this. Nice. I missed that. Although I do think that my move was very good too. Bishop e4 was the way to go, not g4. Oh no, changes to bishop g4 now. Good. Knight e7, c5 is the recommended one. So yes, here here I felt that something wasn't quite right about this. C5. So what's the plan? If takes, then d5, I guess. Yes. So again, the concept is to rip apart the middle so that we get access to the king. That's a beautiful idea. Breathtaking stuff. And if uh, and if here, then here. And if here, then here. And ta-da. And again, that's not so much about the exchange, but about the king. That's nice. Although that being said, Queen A4 didn't exactly drop too much of my advantage either. D5, B5 takes. And here, that's exactly it. I wanted to go here. That was my plan. So that if he plays E5, then I can take and take. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite proud that I saw this. And the rest is really, well, not a lot to say, to be honest. Because it was just carnage. More down all pieces and yeah, we got mated. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I will cut off the YouTube here um, and um, I will continue playing. So if uh, you are on the YouTube, guys, thanks for watching and we will be back with more. Bye.